制定原则，我不想一辈子让人踩在脚下。今天我是臭小贩子，我这三年就是想等一个机会，我争一口气，不是想证明我了不起，我是要告诉人家我是这个东西，我一定要拿回来。Welcome back to another episode of Odd Pod Podcast, and today we're doing the special tenth episode. It's a Woo! great. If you viewers could be just as excited as Jacob, this will go fantastic. It's a great day to have a great day. I'm Andy. I'm Nacho, and I'm Jacob. And don't forget, subscribe. We are paying you to watch. That's right. Yes, we, Jacob, is paying you twenty dollars to subscribe. That's it. All you gotta do is subscribe. It's each free. Each subscriber, that's each subscriber, twenty dollars. Every crazy. single one, the first fifty will get twenty bucks each. A subscription that's program so where money. we pay you and you get paid monthly. And all you have to do is to watch an hour of our content. You can leave it running. Yeah, just like, subscribe, and abuse the shit out of the notification bell. Absolutely. All right. So, uh, first segment, uh, I think we're gonna do a little bit of reflecting, huh? Mm. How are we feeling, episode one to today? Great. I would love if you popped up what we looked like on episode one and how depressed we looked like we were in a hostage room. Yeah, yeah. We and were. we were pretty drunk. Yeah. <laughs> we were, pretty we drunk. were all at different levels and chairs and shit. Yeah. Yeah, so I say from there, personally, and to here where we are now, I think it is over 100% better than what it was. And that's possible. It's all because of this table right here. It's because of the table by episode two. Thanks, Kyle. Overshooting sure the goals. He wants back by now. He's asked me about it a couple times. Well, he doesn't get it back. He always goes, you still have that table? <laughs> just like bring it up randomly. <laughs> Tell him what table. He just wants the long table vibe. You want one in. Right. One there. I'm probably going to cut that out. That was a little mean. Oh, it's, 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 it's episode 10. It's on brand. <laughs> episode 10 is special. <laughs> Fuck you, Kyle. <laughs> there you go. Okay, episode 10. So what's, what's our favorite episode been so far then? I'll go first. My favorite episode so far was when we threw the ball in the backyard. That was hands down, hands up. What episode was that? Episode eight, duh. I like episode one. Episode, episode one? one, first episode. Yeah. I Talk was about drunk as hell on a third. It was a freestyle, night. dude. We just came in and freestyled it. I think it was good. No, yeah, I liked it. Well, no, actually, I didn't like it. Odd pod podcast. Uh, I think, I think our first episode that actually felt good was four, and it felt like an accomplishment because we came in with a game plan. We all dapped up. Andy tried kissing me. I told him stop. I think I remember that. Yeah, I think, I think I remember definitely that. happened. Definitely happened. It was crazy. I think four was the most well, the one I put the least amount of effort in, like editing wise. Oh yeah, because we, we just were, like, threw behind. three of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but that it felt like we had something going, because I think after episode three it was still sort of a lull, and then by episode four we kind of had some going. Don't even know what happened in that episode, but something happened. It reminds me of the uh, you know scene from High School Musical. It's the star. Of something new. Come on. It was. It feels so, so right to be here, here with you. Oh, and now, looking in your eyes. Come on. I, I feel, feel in my heart. heart. You got a feel in my heart. The start, the start of something new. The start of something new. Wow, that's hard. So All right, cool. So that's, so, so, that's the intro so, clip right yeah, you there. Guys were, that was really good to both of you. Yeah, thanks so much. Yeah, if I had to give a compliment to each and every one of you, Ooh, uh, okay. Jacob, Jacob, yes. I love how you just you you plan this shit out. You oh, plan it. So thank I. You very much. I'm, I'm, you were talking about the singing. No, no, oh. no. I he, he I would. I didn't like his singing, but <laughs> but Nacho, you, I I love how you take constructive criticism so well. Like, I know at the end of last episode, we were all bothering you about taking off your sunglasses, and you finally fucking did it. Because I forgot to bring them. Oh, that's different. I'm so blown. <laughs> so blown. <laughs> oh, you wanted them. Yeah. I have, your, I have your Ray-Bans. Where? Actually, no, those hurt my head. Those are going to give me more of a headache in my eyes. Yeah. Cool. I appreciate you letting us use the place, and on top of that, letting us leave stuff here. Because it's so convenient, so I don't have to repack it every single time. So I appreciate that view. Do you know what's going on right now? I'm saying, what are we leaving here for him? A table? Oh, in my recording stuff. Oh, okay. Sometimes my dignity stays here. I'll pick it up the next week. Um, but do you know what's going on right now? No, we're reflecting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're also giving each other... Compliments. Compliments. I appreciate that you plan everything out and you engage with me a lot. 
Andy, I appreciate that you participate. I mean, you know, it's 2024, and I think Gen Z loves loves their participation awards. I like that. That's true. I also want to compliment you for the idea of doing the Google, whatever you do. What is Google Excel? Oh, the, yeah. That's kind of cool, and I'm fucking with it now. And with I'm the, the content how posting to sheet? It. Yeah, I've never yeah. used something like that, so I think it's a good idea. I have to make the March tab. We'll get on that, though. Yep. So, anyways, one thing you hate about each person. Okay. What? What? No, we, we don't have to. <laughs> if you want to, we can. I don't, I, think, I don't think I'm ready for that. Can I, like, walk away while you guys say it? Because I, I don't want to, because I don't have to hear it twice when I edit it. <laughs> I don't have to hear it again. I'm like, that hurt. Oh, gosh. Okay, so uh, moving on to the second segment. Um, is Puxatani Phil a uh, fucking fraud? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Way you were. No, I think he's a fucking fraud. I think the fact that it snowed was kind of BS. Mm -hmm. And I feel like he should be, A, impeached or punished for being I wrong. Wholeheartedly. Like, I agree. Wholeheartedly, uh, yeah. Well, wholeheartedly. Oh, wholeheartedly. Uh, I would switch him out. I'd put in a new, a new groundhog. Nice, yeah. <laughs> I'd probably throw him in a fucking... Put on a squirrel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just try a different animal. Yeah, I mean, like, look, the groundhog doesn't know his fucking shit, clearly. <laughs> try, try a turtle, right? Because if you drop a turtle, it won't fucking die. That's right. Whatever side lands on is if it's going to... Uh, it's, it's like a coin center. flip. Yeah. <laughs> what's, what's funny, though, it's like, like Tony Phil's like in that ground whole groundhog or whatever if you did a turtle like it's just been in sub below freezing temperatures the whole time so you're pulling whatever animal just frozen stiff oh gosh but yeah no i don't think he's a fraud i just think the fact that a groundhog like predicting the weather growing up with that was always crazy you didn't know anything about that you found out i've been talking to people about it recently and i'll ask them <laughs> if he sees his shadow what does that mean and nobody knows. They always forget. No, they don't know up. which one is which. There's science behind that. Like, oh. between the way the, the sun reflects off of him, the shadow comes really? down. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like actual science. Okay. No, see, I didn't know that either. You didn't want to mention that last podcast to me. I, well, I, th I thought it was a given, right? Uh, like, I thought we all knew. Oh, yeah. But the <laughs> way you have to, like, <laughs> look at it. Sorry, I really wanted to butt in because this is Go ahead. Birds, like, animals have such in tune with nature. Like, that's the reason why they trust in birds. Birds always know to fly south. Mm. There ain't someone out there telling them when to do it. Polar bears know to like migrate. Salmon know to fish up sweet, sweet stream. Mm -hmm. No, they do. Swim, stream, combine Just those two. They know how to swim. <laughs> 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 but yeah, so that's okay. why I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe like the groundhog. Maybe that specific ground groundhog yeah. is just a fucking retard. Ooh, wow. I I agree. There there could Clip be. Clip it. <laughs> Let's put him on the spectrum. Um, <laughs> he could he could be like. Well, if Jacob has his way, he won't be on the spectrum. He'll be on a fucking court case. <laughs> He'll be impeached. That's true. Yeah. We don't need would that. you would you switch him out with a stingray? Mm. Just Talk a little me. like you know like Steve Irwin, right? He comes out of the hole. He jabs the mayor in the, <laughs> in the throat. Oh man. What animal is the best one that you would replace it with? A well, rattle. I do a rattlesnake. A rattlesnake? Yeah, be like, hey, you know, trust me, if he shakes a lot, you have, to, you have to get him. You make a convict reach in there, pull him out. <laughs> a what? What did you say? You make a convict pull the uh, rattlesnake out of the hole. <laughs> pull out the snake, if it predicts spring, you get freed. <laughs> <laughs> if not, you hold him until he bites you. Oh my god. <laughs> what animal would you replace him with? Uh, pass. pass. Oh, come back to me. Okay. Well, you said turtle. Yeah, I did say turtle. Oh, so we are done the then. last one then. Oh. Cut. It's been like ten minutes, and we're still Next waiting. Segment. Okay. We'll be right back. I'll randomly throw it out there later. All right, we're we'll bringing it back. Actually, we'll right here. Right here. This this was this was Jacob's choice. Um, okay. <laughs> so speaking of animals, um, did you guys see that clip of the insta stingray? The instant stingray. <laughs> I have a video to show. There's a, is that okay. where you go with this? Is yeah, this yeah. Like, okay. a, this is where I can't be spoiled or something? Yeah. 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 Did you look at it, Andy? It's fine no. if you did. I'm just wondering. No, I, I couldn't okay. Google Instagram Stingray fast enough to find it. <laughs> Here, just, just watch this, and then I have... No, it's too And it'll be right here. A serious pregnant? Yep. With two bamboo sharks named Larry and Moe and a stingray named Charlotte. The mystery is somehow Charlotte, the stingray, 
is pregnant. Uh oh. So one of two things that has happened. Uh oh. Either Charlotte is pregnant because of a spontaneous birth with a clone of the mother, which is possible but extremely rare. Yes. Or Larry and Mo, the sharks, somehow or another have created a crossbreed baby that will be born sometime this week. A stingray shark what baby. The fuck? A, stingray, a stingray shark baby. Yes. Okay. So. What I wrote here is a stinger one, shark. One tank, two male sharks, and one female stingray. Stingray is miraculously pregnant, as the video said, and uh, the video goes on to say that bite marks are a part of the mating process for sharks, and the stingray had little shark bite marks on it. What the fuck? No, okay. that's ridiculous. There's just it's, no way. It's stingray Jesus. Stingrays. It's, it's the next Stingray Jesus is about to be born. Would that be the first coming or second? Well, it depends if you believe the first one. <laughs> that one's still a little... <laughs> you know, there's war spot over that one. But, yeah, this is Stingray Jesus. Okay. It's coming. So, so what would it... If, if it is the Stingray shark um, combination, what would it look like? Or what does that mean? Federal crime, probably. Yeah, for real. <laughs> you gotta figure out who it is, which one, Larry or Mo. Get rid of them. Do a, a paternity test to see which shark it is. <laughs> yeah. You kill that fucking shark. That's wild. But the fact that he said, like, extremely rare that it, like, clones itself. Mm -hmm. That's, like, totally normal. Did you know certain fish can change their gender based on what fish are around? You can do that now, that. too, so it's not that impressive. Okay, but. Right. The world has a lot of fishes. <laughs> You're killing it this episode. Oh, thanks. <laughs> got some zingers. Stingray Jesus, I believe. Okay. And he's gonna wake up in a tank and he's gonna see the oceans. He's gonna be pissed off. He's gonna be in a bad mood. I'm gonna have to walk on this. Because he walks on water, Jesus. Right. He's he realize... did walk on water. Water? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting, though. I like. I like. Fish. Figured I had a. Get rid of the NBA thing because we don't, we're not NBA guys, so no. we'll talk about stingrays instead. Yeah, what about stingray guys? I like, I like fish, fish are cool. Fish are cool. Yeah, yeah fish, fish are friends, fish are cool. Yeah. Said fish fuck? Yeah. Well, clearly. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're right, you're totally right. Okay, so what, what kind of freezer would the stingray go in? The f stingray, uh, any any in any industrial sized stingray, yeah, you definitely need would it. fit in, uh, or any any industrial sized fridge a stingray would fit in. I like the idea of industrial sized stingrays. Yeah, yeah. Well, it depends on how big the stingray is, right? You know? Can I go off on a slight tangent here? Yeah. I watched the podcast two weeks ago or listened to it for an hour about this whale. This beluga whale. Have you guys ever heard of it? You have probably seen the video of the whale. I might do it, I might not. Depends how I'm feeling that day. But there's a video of the, the whale that like brings up someone's phone. Have you guys seen that? I think I have. Lady drops the phone, a beluga whale brings it up. Yes. So there's a deeper story to that. That whale has been in that area for years and years and years, and it's actually a Russian military whale. I'm not even joking. I don't know. You're fucking with me? No. And they thought it was like, oh, it was an escapee because they've been doing this for years now. They've been doing it with mammals. The U.S. has been doing the same thing. But when they got this whale, it would grab hooks and lines and everything and wrap them around propellers and things like purposely. Like it had actual training and like fetching. Oh, like, it's a real whale. It's just trained. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a real. I thought it was a robot or something. No, know. it's a real military whale. Like a David Goggins whale. Oh, that's cool. Typically, like to train these animals, you have to like give them food to like motivate them. So this motherfucker's just doing it for fun. There's like some kind of in yeah. intrinsic motivation to do this. <laughs> exactly. It's, but it's just wild. Like, can you imagine you're just sitting there like a U.S. military and a fucking beluga whale starts attacking you and it's like wrapping up the propellers. That's crazy. I never even heard of something like that. Yeah, I'll tell you the podcast. It was really interesting. I was I wasn't in my car fucking cheering for a whale for like forty five fucking minutes. I'm like fuck it's, you, whale. <laughs> the Japanese are right. <laughs> fucking up our propellers. Better than Sea World, huh? I'd rather him doing that than one trapped up in Sea World. I'd yeah. rather see him in Sea World. Send the beluga whale to Sea World. At least he's not gonna. Oh wait, because the Sea World whale did kill someone. Yeah. I guess either way, you're fucked. <laughs> okay. Well. Military whales. It's a thing. Right. Well, another thing that is a thing, uh, Adam Sandler won the People's Choice Award. That's right. Do we care? Not really. Uh, I love Adam Sandler. I love Adam Sandler, and I really wanted to talk about my favorite Adam Sandler movie. Ooh. Let's do it. Favorite Adam Sandler movie, hands down, uh, Leo. Have you guys seen Leo? Leo was so fucking good. Oh, I loved that fucking movie. I loved movie. that too, dude. It meant so much. What do you think about it? I've never seen Leo. It's on Netflix. You have to watch it. It's okay. newer, so it's yeah. not weird that you haven't seen it yet. Okay. Yeah. I like Click. 
Click is great. That's a classic. Click was good, dude. I think when I watched Click growing up, I wasn't, I didn't know Adam Sandler as an icon yet. So it was one of my more like first Adam Sandler movies. Mm -hmm. But my favorite right now, eh, yeah, it has to be my favorite right now is um, Hubie's Halloween. Dude, oh my god. Hubie's Halloween. (laughs) His Halloween special he came up with uh, 2020, I think it was. I need to watch that. So So good, good, dude. Watch Watch it during Halloween. Okay. I didn't see that. It's so good, dude. Okay. I'll it's watch one it. of those characters he uses. How do you explain that? Like a Waterboy type character? He goes back to like we being on the spectrum. Yeah. 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 Waterboy. Yeah. Yeah. The Waterboy is also a classic, though. Haven't Waterboy, got Happy Gilmore. You haven't seen Waterboy? I saw. Remember when I first saw Happy Gilmore? Like last year? Yeah, because he started getting into golf. Yeah. Which, by the way, we have to start playing. I miss you. How'd that go? Well, well Kyle tore his hamstring, but. He Bro, a hell of a drive. Golf cut. Straight up <laughs> tore his hamstring. Well, he was like, he texted me at like five o'clock and he goes, if there's a stain on the couch, he goes, I'm just icing my leg. And I'm like, well, first of all, I'm not going to be home till, well, right. Well, first of all, I'm not going to be home till midnight. Like he knew that. So I was like, he just wanted me to, this is his way of being like, Hey man, do you mind carrying about me he for a second? He just wanted to talk to you. Exactly. So I texted him back. We talked and I was like, yeah, like, let me see if it's fine. And the next day he goes bruise just got bigger and i was like there's a bruise there i'm like you didn't tell me and then when he showed me he's like i don't think i think it might be strained meanwhile the man has just like a patch of black and br- uh, black and blue like this big and i'm like that's not strained my friend you gotta stretch kyle i hope you're doing better by the time that this episode stinks. comes out you might have i'm gonna have to text him hey how's the couch stain man the code word <laughs> hey what happened nacho was really complaining about a wet couch like <laughs> earlier <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he tore his hamstring. I don't know if he did it during golf or anything, but he was crushing it. He was hitting so well. Wow. Really? Yeah, we played with this, um, oh my gosh, his name was Keith. Just an old guy or whatever. And it's funny because golf is one of those sports that like the older people are the more experienced ones. Like I went up there, hit a shank, like went into the right. Kyle didn't hit a good one because it was our first ball. And then we played with Keith and we're like, all right, like it's an older guy, whatever. He gets out and he actually has like the things that like come onto your wrist to walk. And he walks out oh. there pipes it like 200 down the middle straight line and i was like fuck that guy was a baller he was he's like the guy from south park yeah like jimmy yeah, jimmy, yeah. <laughs> but he was like it's crushing it. he was crushing it it was so much, it was like it got to the point where like he'd drive up to the green and he was on his phone waiting for us because kyle and i were were struggling to finish the holes he was rushing you or no no God, he was no, he was the chillest old guy ever. Like he was just he had like a heated little pad and everything in his cart. Heck he was just yeah. sitting there on his phone, relaxed. Super cool guy. Whatever, cool. Good yeah. for him. All right, next Shout segment. Out Keith. Sorry, Keith. Shout out Keith. Shout out Keith. Sorry, Keith. Uh, next segment. Segment what? Segment five. We're on five now. Okay. Halfway there. Virginia's TikTok ban for kids failed. Uh, Delegate Jay Leftwich proposed a ban to kids from using TikTok. That's cool. Uh, well, I guess we can talk about that real fast. Good idea, bad idea. Why? Why does it sound like a? I think, which it says later on, it's a weird idea because, like, how are you gonna ban TikTok and not other social medias for age restricting somebody from using it? Right. I think it's dumb. I think it's like uh, it's infringing on like what your First Amendment if you hit like the general public with it right yep. like why would you block that it's your parents choice to let you do it or not i feel like that's what i'm saying it's their choice the government can't tell us what to watch that's right my body my choice exactly okay cool next segment i i have a lot to say on that topic but we would have gone on for like 30 minutes so. do you want to throw one thing do you huh? want to talk about my body no, my choice I'll, I'll probably throw a short clip of me talking about it okay we'll just wait a second yeah <laughs> no, no no it'll be an it'll <laughs> individual clip okay we'll cool. call it nacho minisodes cool I'm cool with that. Yeah, the first episode. Anything for content. Exactly. So It'll be nice. Like, yeah, that'll get their attention. Yeah. Ooh, that'll get a shadow band again. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just can't talk shit about Max Verstappen. That's literally it. There's a deep state great plot. Guy. He's a great guy. I think so. Well, the amount of dirty European money in the F1, if you call him gay, I'm surprised I'm not dead yet. I love Max Verstappen. Yeah, great guy. Super straight. Too. But he doesn't love you. Okay? Because not like that. He's yeah, not, gay. not like that. <laughs> <laughs> See, so that happened on Sunday. Yeah, that's crazy because the day before in Maryland, someone stole a uh, a police cruiser and rammed it through a power line. No way. It's M dot truck. 
They st- okay. The no, truck? yeah, actually, no way because they actually stole a truck. <laughs> <laughs> they stole a truck, well, and cr- then they hit the police cruiser. Well, this story is just getting crazy. It's, now. it's you getting know, and odd. it's on video. That's it's right. on video. What an odd thing. <laughs> On Pod Pod episode 10. Only on today's episode. That's Only right. on today's episode. We'll be right back. All right, we're back, guys. Thank you so much. Um, so, like I said, we're bringing it back here with video. Andy, take it away. All right, so again, someone stole an M dot truck and hit a police cruiser and ran through some power lines. You mean V dot? No, this is in Maryland. What the hell's an M dot? Maryland Department of Transportation. Just like. V dot stands for Virginia Department of Transportation. So 45 second video. So it'd be I dot? Check this out. Would I dot be copyright infringement? For what? If Indiana? Illinois? Indiana? I dot? I don't know. No. They're in it together. Who cares? What? Well, Who Apple. Gives a fuck? Apple. Apple? I dot. Is an Apple I dot a thing? Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with anything. Can I play the video? Sure. Run it. I want it. Okay. Run it. 27 year old Flavio Lanuza of Lord I'm the Flavio. Wow. Oh, I mean, we don't. Is this. Did this guy just do back to back crimes? Oh my god. You know, that looks like a Maryland driver to me. That is definitely a Maryland driver. <laughs> There's a Nissan Altima nearby somewhere. My favorite is this next person who gets interviewed. She was driving home from work. Oh my god, the kite, the truck is straight to me. It was so scary. I'm really scary. Was it? Because you're shining right now, bitch. That was so funny. Oh my god. That. Oh, you didn't like that? No, I found it kind of racist. Uh, well, well, I just, she was so excited. Yeah, she's not the one. She's not the bad driver. She's winning. That's yeah. you're right. Thank That's you a point. so much. We have the theory really of her perspective. That. She's got a little side swipe insurance is going to handle it, and she just got screen time. That would also be my wet dream. If like someone just side swiped my car. Mm. I can do it. I know. Uh, please don't. <laughs> Please don't. I think that's terrible that that happened, and I hope that person gets what's coming. It's like you were reading that off of something. Yeah. yeah. And women <laughs> don't deserve rights. She probably had a coming. Know, that's kind of. Why would you, you write that? You should just I say everything else. I write that. <laughs> okay, but what you did write, though, was uh, a bunch of fucking French people getting angry in the Eiffel Tower. Okay. Is it word for word? <laughs> word for word? Yeah. yeah. All right. I think I said that at the end. I like I like the way you're naming the segments these days, Jacob. Yeah, right. <laughs> fucking angry right. French people. Angry French people, right? But uh, so angry this past French. Monday, they it would be this one. You did angry French people, so you're gonna read French people angry. Damn, that's pretty. Could you good. do it? Still this doesn't regardless. help for the listeners on Spotify. Me, okay. <laughs> so then I'm not gonna know well, what this means. Then okay. The Spotify listener should go to. YouTube and subscribe and like and comment and check yeah. out the full videos. Yeah, use the notification bell and hopefully win twenty dollars. And go back and look at our playlists and see some of your favorite odd pop moments. So fun fact: the Eiffel Tower. This is its second time closing in two months. First time was over the holidays. Now, more recently, was what is that? Monday. Monday. This was past Monday. Monday. Yeah. Uh, my girlfriend's dad is there right now. He sent a picture of what the sign says. Says what does the sign says? Sign says, due to a strike, the Eiffel Tower is closed. We apologize. That's right. They have poor money management there. And didn't, I was talking to somebody about this. Didn't Spotify also have a strike for the similar reason? I don't know. Why? But I think the French money. striking is very, like, they protest and strike like there's no tomorrow. Mm. Yeah. But the second that someone rolls in, they're like, welcome, we surrender. Oh. Ooh. Did it yeah. say that there? No, oh, there's a lot of history no. books that will say that. This <laughs> okay. is Nacho ad lib right here. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that that jump crazy. That is the most or one of the most visited landmarks. So cool. Yeah, is it? I, I I think, believe yeah, it. yeah, that's what it said. I didn't know that. Hey, Google. Now you know. It's crazy. Nice. You didn't know. Now you know. Uh, do you know about SpongeBob? What about SpongeBob? Did you uh, know that he's gay? I just like I Cora. did actually. Core and SpongeBob. Yeah, but Core is hot, so that's cool. Because the girls are attractive. Shit. You don't what? like sponges? <laughs> you sponge phobic? Oh, all right, let's play a little game, huh? <laughs> let's lighten the mood. <laughs> let's. All right. all right, we're gonna go around the room and name all of the SpongeBob characters that we would have intercourse with, and the first one to not name a character uh, loses. All right, all right, cool. Dirty bubble. Okay. Ready, set, go. Uh, Sandy. Gary the snail. Dirty bubble. <laughs> 
Dirty Bubble. Larry the Lobster. Um, fuck. Uh, Marine Man. Barnacle Boy. Patrick. Fu- Did I fuck Mr. Krabs? Man Ray. Plankton. Squidward. You skip Ooh, me. King Neptune. King Neptune's daughter. Pat oh, Pat. there's also oh, no, um, Pearl, Pearl the Whale. Pearl, Pearl the Whale. You don't need a license to drive a patty. Are they still making episodes? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. Goaded movie. That is a goaded movie. Goated. I didn't like the newer one that came out. Which one was that? And That's the one with Plankton. They were fighting like a war or something. I'm just, I can't remember. I know it's Sean Mata, but no. I need to look it up. I miss okay. the old games. You guys want to play another game? Yeah, Jessica, you want to play a game? No. All right, cool. This game is called Two Truths and One Lie. Uh, and so the way we're going to do this is you will say two truths and one lie, and we will all have to guess. I'm starting. Would you like to start? Sure. Please. <sighs> okay. I'm drawing a bit of a... Uh, wearing an ASCO. <laughs> Is that how you say it? It's an uh, Do you know what an ascot is? Uh, no. An ascot? You don't know what an ascot is? No, it's an ascot. You, he didn't know what an ascot was either. Was Have ascot. you seen Freddy from Scooby Doo? Yeah. And what he wears around his neck? So looking at the word as, oh. ascot, how, how would you pronounce that? Escote. Escote? Ascot. Okay. How do you guys not know what an ascot is? Because we're not white. I don't know what a fucking ascot is. Do you know what the capital of Iowa is? Yeah, of course. What is it? Is it an ascot? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It's I saw, Mo- I saw it's a lot Des Moines. of there. Yeah, what is that it? was a really good guess. Des Moines. Des Moines. Des yeah. Moines, Illinois. But let me let me show you how it's spelled. Des Moines. <laughs> I just mixed during a spring. Look right there. Look at this. That's how you spell Des Moines, Iowa. Yeah, I was, Des Moines. Said Illinois. I was like, wait, why Illinois? It's Des Moines, Iowa. Yeah. That's oh, did crazy. I say Illinois? Yeah, you said Illinois. Oh, shit. My bad. All right, anyways. Uh... An ascot. Is it a bold move, or are you doomed for disaster if you wear one? Oh, nobody has a frick. How about a bowler tie? Let's change it to a bowler tie. A scarf. We've had this conversation. We'll, we will we'll go to scarf. Do you know what a bowler tie is? Is that the... Cowboy thing? Yeah. It's two strings, and it screams, I hate yeah, women's yeah. rights. No, I, I don't. So you got one? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> two strings. Yeah, yeah. I have one right here. Yeah, it depends on the type of day. You're like, ah, oh. I don't know. All right, okay, okay. Oh, we'll say scarf. No, I like the bowler tie. Because I have a hot take on this. Uh, oh. If you wear a bowler tie uh-huh. anywhere except uh, Texas or a state where that originates from, and sometimes people don't wear them and don't even have like route, like ties to Texas, you actually should just jump off a building. <laughs> oh, wow. Because you are now cosplaying into a part of life that no one really cares to see anymore. Mm. A bowler tie? What the fuck are you doing? This ain't the notebook. This ain't no fucking little Tennessee ranch thing. Because the reality is, the guy wearing the bowler tie is probably going to vote against Repub- for Republicans and more likely going to take away your reproductive rights. And here's one more thing about the bowler tie. Learn to let the past die. Yeah, you are that down. Kill it. <laughs> Let the past die, kill it if you have to. Because two strings, what, what are you doing? Well, I'm gonna play devil's advocate. Uh, his body, his choice. Shut the fuck up. Mm. You heard it here first. Mm-hmm. Don't ever mention bowler ties on this fucking podcast yeah, I, again. I, I tried not to, I wanted to talk about an ascot. <laughs> well, his ass got got. got. So, yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Last question. All right. Well, we never. Right, you know, let's let's okay. And ascots don't even get me started on those. Let me let me let me change this. Okay. All right. Uh, when, if ever, would you change your last name? Ooh. <laughs> 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 I don't even care anymore. When, if ever, would you change your last name? All right. I this, like that. This, 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 keep it, this, keep it. this is, is the actual segment name. Or what? <laughs> I don't know. You're getting married to uh, who's your celebrity crush? Oh, I like... Gal Gadot walks up to you and she's like, Hey, we're gonna get married, but you gotta change your last name. You can have all my money. Ignacio? What about Martha Stewart? I'd go Jacob Stewart. Martha Jacob Stewart? Stewart? That's oh. got a ring to it, right? Oh, it's oh, it's oh, it's 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 got okay, cool. two first name action? Yeah. Jacob oh, Stewart? I didn't even think about that. That's crazy. Okay, yeah. I would do it. I, I like would do that. it. Or Jacob Good Mott. question. <laughs> Very you. odd. I came up with that. Yeah. What would yours be? 
What would mine be? Andy Kim. Andy. I like that. I feel like it needs to be Andy Kim. I feel like there's too many Andy Bad Kims. Jokes. Is Andy a white name? Uh, yeah. I think so, yeah. So your first language isn't English, but your first name is white as heck. More white than well, mine, maybe? Do you want to know why? Where my name came from? Do I want to know why? Well, That's what I'm asking you. Would you like to know? Hold on, give me a sec, give me a sec. Yeah. Well, do you know the question while he waits, that question that irritates you? Hmm. People ask you, what's your real name? When they hear it's I Andy, get, I don't get asked that. You don't get asked that anymore. No, I don't. I'm sure you did when you were younger, though. No, I never did. That. Wow, I asked a lot of that. people that question. And you I know what? Never. I do want to know. Okay, cool. Thanks. Anyways, <laughs> everyone, that was the last segment of Odd Pod Podcast episode ten. Uh, again, once again, once we hit fifty subscribers, Jacob is gonna send you five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. But right now, we are on that monthly twenty dollar for each subscriber that Jacob's handling. It's not what's happening. Credit card information posted up here. PayPal. Everything else that you need from him. What's also up there uh, or down there is the link to our Spotify and Instagram. So, uh, with that, any closing remarks? Tenth episode. Thank you for rocking with us. We're not stopping at tenth episode. We're stopping at eleventh episode. Just kidding. That's going to be our first guest. <laughs> and that was a good joke. I just made it. Came up with it on top of my head. It's going to be our first guest, the eleventh. The eleventh episode. By the way, this tenth episode. To- okay, that makes sense. Yeah. 12 weeks doing a podcast, just saying. Which that is, is crazy. We made it. And since then, all the times that we've said thank you to all of none of you for watching, thank you to all two of you, all three, all five, I can say with confidence, thank you to all 14 for watching. That's right. If, if you got this far in the video, comment, Jacob smells bad. And not- Anyways, episode 10, thank you for rocking with us. Hope you enjoyed. And get him. Do you know what the capital of Iowa is? Yeah, of course. What is it? Is it Ascot? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no.